Now you all know cockles and mussels. I was in Ireland a few years ago. I've been there several times over the last few years. And uh, actually, I was out in Western Ireland the last time. And on this island, these islands are called the Aral Islands. And I was at a pub one night, a pub. And we were singing. And we were singing some American songs, and they sing some Irish songs. And I said, hey, do you know uh, Molly Malone? And you know what they said to me? That song's from Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't sing it. <laughs> but I, I met a fellow from Wexford County, and he was singing, let's see, uh, uh, in Camden Fair City, where the girls are so pretty. It was there that I first met sweet Molly Malone. And the last verse he sang, she died of a fever, and no one could save her. I said, why do you do that mm, at the end? He says, I can't afford the pipes. <laughs> so I do it in my voice. I said, how come one verse is fast and one verse is slow? He says, the song is like a river. Sometimes it wants to move fast and sometimes it wants to move slow. You can't tell it how to go. And then we were in a, in a church one night, we were leading a sing, we were trying to get the Irish audience singing, uh, it was, um, it was um, what was it, uh, um, um, this little light of mine. And they wouldn't open their mouths. And I went up to the priest afterwards, I said, Father Willie, how come they wouldn't sing? And Father Willie said, have you heard of Oliver Cromwell? He came into Ireland, he took the joy out of Ireland. He took the singing out of Ireland, he took the joy out of the church. And I said, Father Willie, that was 500 years ago. <laughs> he said, we Irish are slow to change. 